Attack! Yow! What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the cast tonight. We got UGC Highlander All Star. That is Martin Luther King Day as well. Yeah, represent for the Dacta. The Dacta in your life, laying down those heels, making the world a better place. So everybody's, you know, had the day off. They've been chilling. Well, can't say everybody actually, because I had to work. Um, Salamancer, how about yourself though? That's that's my guest today, Salamancer. Let's welcome Salamancer, everybody. Golf clap, golf clap, golf clap. Thank you, thank you. I would like to thank the Academy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, how, how are you doing today, Sal? Oh, man. Uh, so I told Sakura, who is our new scheduler, that mm -hmm. I could only do one match this week because uh, I am mega stressed about work right now. So basically, that's why I've not been putting up a lot of videos recently. I'm just uh, pretty stressed. Yeah, Crazy you gotta, stuff happening. Gotta, gotta keep your eye on the prize sometime, you know? Yeah. Well, uh, we are in for a uh, slammer tonight. It's going to be awesome. UGC Highlander All-Star. So we got two of the best players for each class. And UGC representing for the league, stepping it up. A lot of fantastic players. And then we also got three great maps. One of uh, you know the three types. Well, three out of four, I guess, since uh, there's no capture the flag tonight. And we are playing a best of three. Um, I, I guess we are going to get competitive here. They did say it was a best of three. So I'm not sure if we're going to have a friendly third map if one team rolls out the first two. I'm also a, a little unsure. We should have asked Infinite while he was in here for a second um, over uh, what the format's going to be for Gravel Pit, which is going to be our first map. Not quite sure if we're going to be playing three sets or just uh, one set of Gravel Pit. But Gravel Pit is fantastic. It's going to be a great kickoff for this. And then we're going to go to Koth Lakeside, which is definitely going to be some intense, uh, brutal, brutal action. King of the Hill in Highlander mode is always uh, just straight deathmatch brutality. So pretty excited about that. And uh, then we're going to go to PL Upwards as the final so that's uh, that's pretty nifty. Um, upwards and payload, you know, um, great part of TF2. Really excited about that. Big ups to our over 700 viewers. Yeah, what is up? UGC bringing in the crowds. You guys must all be waiting to play next week. And uh, got nothing better to do today. So uh, thanks for joining us. Going to be really excited. Um, this is X Television. If this is your first time here, hit the follow button. Head over to our website, xtelevision.com. Check us out. Hit up our Steam group. That's the best way to get our announcements. We are, um, you know, I'm not trying to brag, but we are the best in North America for TF2. I'm not bragging because we're, we're almost the only organization that streams TF2 left. But we have a lot of talented individuals uh, working for us, working with us. Salamancer, of course, one of those. We brought on uh, Griever and... Um, uh, plenty of other fantastic people. Mike, Michael is here as well. Um, somebody saying shout out to Portland. And yeah, shout out to Portland. That's where I live. And a uh, big quick shout out to pdxland.net. If you want to go to a uh, land and you are in Washington, Oregon, um, that is a great land. Also fantastic land in Sacramento in April at the TF2 community is trying to rally to an Intel land fest. And also a um, land in Montreal that people are trying to rally to. Also for sixes, um, ESCA is going to be March 2nd through 4th. We're super excited about that. Yeah. Well, I'm super excited about the game that is coming up tonight. Just as soon as the STV relay, I guess, finishes uh, loading up the map because hopefully that happens pretty soon. But people in the stream chat were really excited to see the spies tonight. Hey and Stabby, or is that high? Either way, those spies probably are going to go on a rampage, i got to say. Just because uh, normally when you think of all-star pyros, you think of people like, say, TMP or Ethel, those flare shot guys who tend not to hang around the medic as much. They like to go crazy suicide mission, you know, kill the enemy medic and get three kills, but that means they're not watching for spies as much. So uh, we could see some pretty big spy plays tonight. Yeah, exactly. Um, we are definitely going to have a lot of stuff uh, going on. Um, 
you know, we got Banny on Demo Man, and uh, Banny tears it up. I mean, the best demo in sixes, and that pretty much also means he's the the best demo in Highlander. Has always torn it up for his team on um, uh, the Wonderbolts. Excuse me. We also got Don Newman, quite the famous pyro, and he's going to be doing it up big uh, today as well. Pyro is uh, pretty crazy in Highlander. And uh, we're going to see some fun tactics here. I'm, I'm really excited for it. We we should be getting started with the match. Uh, hopefully within, you know, 5-10 minutes. Uh, they're just uh, dealing with the server issues a little bit. They um, had most of the players in there, though. So, um, that's that's a plus. Um, in other news, TF2 news, uh, we just dropped the second episode of our new news show. You should, uh, you guys should check that out. Hold on to it for later. It's an ongoing effort of ours. Every week we are, we are shooting it, um, and it's getting posted on Mondays. So um, head over there, give us a follow on our channel, and uh, check those out every week. Uh, mainly competitive news, but you know we're gonna hit up the general TF2 news as well. Just uh, there wasn't that much uh, shaking this last week. <clears throat> I'm just working on the uh, the STV right now, guys. So hopefully we do get in there. I'm, I'm pretty sure they've got most of their players set up right now. Yeah, I think all of us are. Oh, actually, I just uh, want you guys try reconnecting again because, um, yeah, we're, we're heading into uh, Gravel Pit Fixed. Um, Gravel Pit Fixed. There we go. Um, yep, just we are in. It's uh, one small problem uh, with uh, Gravel Pits. Um, the overtime, uh, there's a weird overtime bug, but no biggie. Uh, we might have a lot of new people here to, um, to uh, TF2, so I, I want to talk about it a little bit, what we're seeing here tonight, what we should expect. Highlander TF2 is um, the main thing that this UGC League is about. That is 9 versus 9, and uh, you get one of each class. You know, it all kind of still revolves around the medic who's, who's putting those heals down getting those ubers out there and uh you know it's, it's kind of what teams uh what what everything revolves around we're gonna see three types of uh maps um tonight uh first up is gravel pit uh which is a stopwatch style map uh we are really only going to see uh one set of this so each team is going to get a chance to play offense and it keeps track of how fastly or how fast fastly ugh how fast they capture all three points. Um, Gravel Pit, how it is set up uh, versus other uh, stopwatch attack defense ma maps is there's three points A, B, and C. Usually people uh, don't really put a defense against A. They prefer to um, just defend B. That's because you kind of got to split up and, and B is, is much more defendable. Um, and then after those two points are captured, then you can start to attack C. And so... Um, then players will fall back to that. So uh, we'll see a run of offense for both teams. Whatever team has the fastest ta cap, cap time will win this map. Our uh, second map is uh, King of the Hill. So there's a single control point. And once that point is captured, uh, a three-minute timer counts down. Um, and then, you know, the other team captures it back. Their timer starts to cap uh, count down. Um, after it hits zero, you win that round. And we play a first to four rounds. Actually, what we're what we're doing here, Exton, I was just told that uh, we're only going one playthrough on each map. So as soon as we get the last man in on Team Blue, I think they're going to ready up, and we should see it start pretty soon. That's fantastic. Uh, Michael is uh, on his way in here, and uh, we will get this going in just a second. He actually has to uh, get this uh, gravel pit fixed map in his uh, on his computer. Um, but uh, that'll, that'll be in. We'll be in in no time. Yeah, actually, we are up. So. Let's do a quick little uh, rundown of the teams here. Over starting on blue, assuming they don't uh, switch uh, switch sides before we get started. We got Romeo Love on Demo Man, very experienced player, been around the block. Actually, all these players are quite experienced. Seabass is their medic. Uh, High the spy for blue. Combat Toast the soldier. Mala the heavy weapons, quite a great heavy weapons player there. Gareth the sniper. Um, Tagged up as bonus. Um, I'm not. Uh, I'll have to look up on the other side who that who that engineer really is. And then uh, Yusuf Toaster, the scout, and Don Newman, the pyro. Over for red, it's going to be Tiger from the Sixes team. Uh, Tiger and friends. 
who plays with X Jedi, I believe, uh, for uh, UGC. He's their soldier, very talented soldier. Polk the Heavy, one of the best heavies in the game. Banny, Quantic Gaming, the demo. He is a phenomenal, phenomenal player. Their spy is Stabby Stabby. Zero Skill, the engineer, who is my personal favorite engineer to watch. Heinlander, the medic liquid sniper. And I was actually just playing against him in a practice match for Communities versus Pros. He is going to be on the Communities team. That event happening February 11th featuring nine community players versus a team of six pros. You were on that team as well, Salamancer. Liquid tears it up. Let me uh, finish the lineup oh, so we yeah, can get back to that. Embryo on Scout and bonus Pudding Cup on Pyro. But yeah, let's talk about CVP x sign uh, Community versus Pros that you guys should all watch when it happens. I just got out of practice, actually, uh, about 20 minutes ago for that, and we're all feeling pretty good right now. Kind of liking uh, our chances here against Classic Mix-Ups. So uh, I tell you what, man, Hard Blue, bring it on. <laughs> yeah, uh, Foundry uh, is the third map, and that was uh, the end of it. And that was uh, that was pretty good for you guys. Um, look, looking uh, looking like that might, map might help you out a little bit. Uh, the other map's going to be Badlands and Steel, but of course uh, that's not what we're here to watch tonight. Tonight it is UGC Highlander All Stars, and uh, super excited about it. Yeah, these guys are going to be the best of the best, and you know I I do enjoy playing with the best of the best. Sometimes I can't call myself that; I'm awful. But uh, having Liquid on our team really brings the uh, team level up. So I'm going to watch him sniping quite a bit. But really, I'm just going to watch all these guys. And actually, right now I'm, I'm staring at Don Newman's unusual uh, hat and mask setup, and that is one scary looking pyro, man. Yeah, uh, Don Newman is pretty scary. You gotta be uh, gotta be careful with him. And uh, his reflect abilities. Don Newman's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Definitely uh, an aspiring pyro, uh, or sorry, a pyro that all aspiring pyros should watch for. Yeah, pretty much there's something here for everybody, guys. Uh, and hopefully we do get the camera on your favorite class tonight. In fact, uh, there is a lot of chat in the stream right now. But uh, guys, I want to see what your favorite class is in stream chat. Go. Yeah, do it up. Michael, you get to count the uh, you get to count the votes, but it looks like we are going to start really soon here. I am excited. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, um, we do have the setup time here. Be interesting to see where Zero Skill and his teammates uh, decide to set up, decide to go. Zero Skill is actually just going to set up his uh, tele or sorry his sentry gun outside of um, the spawn and then walk it forward after it's upgraded. Yeah, I'm actually, I saw that our first team on defense there did have their teleporter on top of the roof. I don't know if they're going to try that this time around, but it's a really neat thing to do if you can get your heavy up there on top of that gravel pit roof because it is so scary to play against that. I actually don't even see the engineer right now. I guess uh, zero skill for gunrunners. Yeah, he is bringing out the uh, possibly a level 3 sentry here. Or, yep, he's setting it up on the high ground, interestingly enough. So that's, uh, that's a little different uh, there. Hmm. I just, uh, I don't that's anything really new actually maybe my game is just bugging for some reason now I can actually see where he's rotating the sentry gun and its range as he's going to place it that's cute yeah that's but the doors have opened man they have opened new. and we have uh, Seabass with his festive medigun deciding oh. to overheal the uh, soldier as he walks out towards B probably gonna go through long and yet there you go they are jumping after the medic right now from our red team red medic here Heinlander Keeping himself alive with 150 health, good dodging, and good defense by the rest of his team. So it looks like we're going to have a pretty standard uh, capture of A and no force pop out of Hein right now. Oh, he's down to 19 health. He drops the Uber. Oh, oh no. Man. Combat toast. Great bomb there. <laughs> and uh, Heinlander already sent great comms. So uh, teamwork's going to be a, a, a little tough here. These teams not really uh, super familiar with each other. Uh, Blue off to a great start, getting that drop from the Medic. Crucial stuff there. Seabass and his team are taking A. Let's see, and actually Seabass is back in spawn. So uh, they're getting ready to roll out here through uh, B-side. 
Yeah, but one thing to look at is that, once again, this teleporter is actually on top of B. And if, uh, if the blue team here doesn't try to take the roof, then they are not going to spot that. And even if they start trying to capture B, they could have, you know, a soldier, demo man, heavy even, jumping in on top of uh, them. So this the Uber in from Seabass extremely early. That's wasted all of it. Maybe that drop not being uh, influential as we thought. Yeah, that was that was mostly a wasted Uber. Some good kills here and there, but Seabass is already down. That teleporter on the roof of B is down as well, but the sentry is staying up. Really nice work by the uh, engineer and his wrangler. Uh, B is getting captured right now, but that probably won't last too long as Melee goes down, and now pretty much all the blue team is dead. Actually, Melee doesn't go down. He's on fire right now. He's going for Hein. Can't oh. quite get the kill. That's the D for red there, slowing down B. Um, or sorry, blue team. Um, on. They're going to have to respawn, and by the time they get back out there, red is going to be... Ready to defend once again. Uh, Engineer's dispenser stayed up. Really crucial for uh, his rebuilding efforts. I just I, I got on the high cam there real quick. The spy for our blue team and or maybe it was Hay. I don't remember how to pronounce that. And he did just die right there. But he actually used his ambassador from long long range to take out the sentry and nobody stopped him. So a uh, good opportunistic play there. Combat toast jumps in and forces the pop out of. Uh, out of Hein, although Seabass is getting pressured in the AB connector, uh, so he's having to be really careful here. There you go. Did manage to stay alive with the help from the Pyro and the Demo. It's going to wow. be Don Newman and Romeo. Use of Toaster was uh, jumping around like mad uh, on the back side of B. Not really able to kill uh, for the red team. They're only down there. Scout, they picked up a couple kills on blue, so they're finally settling into this defense a little bit more. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised that they managed to defend after that drop, but now that they have, and they've got the sentry once again going up to level 3, uh, they're going to set probably a pretty nice time here on defense. Right now, we do have Gareth sneaking out the uh, short entrance, looking for a pick here with that sniper rifle still scoped in. Meanwhile, Don Newman does get the kill on Stabby. Yeah, um, let's see. I wonder where High is at. Um, or Hey, sorry. <laughs> We're both messing it up. He's uh, just trying to work in through the BC connector. Took a rocket while close, though, and goes down. Here comes the Uber charge, and they get blasted back from the pyro. Nice Although defense thing, there by Pudding Cup. Yeah, one thing to note about that Uber is that it was not in range of Banny. Banny got taken down by Yusuf Toaster, and now Yusuf Toaster, the blue scout, on top of the medic here. Can he get that wow. kill? Not quite uh, in combat. Toaster just went down as well, but it does look like our blue team owns the roof right now. Uh, they did own the roof until Tiger walked up there, and Tiger is a fearsome soldier. Yeah, that blue scout got air blasted up to the roof, which was pretty funny. Um, and uh, Banny's somewhere going crazy. He was on um, point C, actually. Uh, it looked like yeah. there was going to be a forward sentry going up from our engineer on, on C, on the tower itself. And Banny was just like, nope. Uh, I just put the yeah. STV address in uh, the stream chat if it's curious. Of course, um, it will get the commentary off sync, but you can hop into our Mumble uh, channel if you have a Mumble and uh, listen to the sim uh, commentary simultaneously. The Spy for Blue is inside the house trying to put down um, Sappers, but uh, the Red Engineer gets support from his team, and Hay gets taken out. Yeah, Zero Skill doing a really good job of repairing his sentry right now. He is using the Widowmaker and also the Jag. Um, both Engineers actually using the Jag, and... I, I always get confused as why they're using it because there is some controversy over how fast it actually makes things rebuild. But you know what? I, let's not even talk about that because this is going to be so action-packed right now. Blue Team has 100% Uber. They are ready to push out. Stabby's down right now, so they do have a one-player advantage, and that can be useful. But it looks like they're going to take the long way through point A. Um, while a couple of their players, I think that was going to be uh, the engineer, actually, for Blue, who, bonus, I guess we're just going to call him, is, uh, is down. The only man down for them so far. Hay has gotten found out here, but Tiger can't finish the job. And now it does look like uh, the rest of the blue team is ready to conquer C here. They've got the they've got the setup. They just need to make sure they can actually push through B without getting completely shut down through these choke points. And here they come right now. Uh, they are probably going to get one kill here before the Ubers pop. There you go. Actually, they didn't. Hay got taken down. But the Uber does not save Polk, and that's a huge deal. They're not going to have a heavy here to try and defend this point. Uh, however, Don Newman is down right now. Combat Toast really hurt. There's a lot of players on our blue team actually who are severely damaged. And the medic can only heal one at a time. Wow. Uh, use of toaster came up behind zero skill, took him out, but uh, the sentry gun recovered from its uh, gunslinger downtime. Sorry, the wrangler downtime uh, to kill uh, scout just in the nick of time. Both soldiers on the roof. 
But the blue soldier trying to jump around, <laughs> uh, take out the medic. Yeah, ate a pipe from Banny though. Yeah, it's it's hard not to eat a pipe from Banny, man. Yeah, he's got mad pipes. Um, snipers are, are battling each other out uh, down that long tunnel of B, but I like uh, Red's defense here, and I think uh, this team is going to be staying strong. Yeah, I was watching Liquid actually standing on the point. He's just getting his little overheal from the medic so he can walk back out. He's found the uh, enemy sniper once again. Looks like Hay tried to go in there and get a, uh, a pick on the engineer. Liquid taking out Gareth. And so, no sniping going to come onto the blue team anytime soon. It's only Embryo down right now. I'm sorry, on the red team. Uh, only Embryo down there. Gareth and Hay, both the assassination classes for our blue team, are dead. So it's going to be tough for them to get that pick. Uh, they're probably going to try and push him with an Uber pretty soon. But they don't have a lot of time left. Two minutes, maybe two more Ubers. Yeah, it's going to be tough. You really got to use those Ubers pretty quick. Um, because you only got so much time. I mean, Gravel Pit's uh, a lot different from FCP or, well, I guess Pale is pretty time dependent as well. You just really oh, take a Oh, no. Yeah, you got to take advantage of those opportunities. But Banny getting a, a drop out of Seabass. That's why Banny is one of the best demo men in the game. Had a fantastic uh, trap and just popped it at the right time. Took Seabass out before he could use his Uber. Yeah, Banny did get taken out there by Hay. So once again, these spies are kind of going on a rampage. But, uh,. Our pyros, in turn, have been catching them pretty darn well. That's, um, who is that? Don Newman, and then, of course, on the red team, our pudding pyro cup. is... I can't even see him. Oh, Pudding, pudding cup. cup. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep. And uh, Polk and Heinlander are playing very well on the do dark side of the uh, E point. And they also, you know, popped that Uber uh, a little bit ago, but it's, it's really any loss because they knew that Seabass was respawning and, and going to have to build it again. And I'm not sure where Seabass is. Oh, uh, they're in. Seabass, very long. This is actually a good call to try to push it off Uber. Uh, they're getting pretty good damage here. Let's see if they can uh, close this out. Well, they may be able to, but they're going to have to take down this uh, almost fully healed heavy medic combo behind the point. Dispenser is down, so that's going to make it a little bit easier for them as the medic oh, is uh, not going to be able to get the heals. John Newman poked out, trying to go for the Axe Extinguish, but uh, Polk staying alive uh, times two on the point. Don Newman taken out, though. Um, use of Toaster coming in to help support Abe Lincoln, the engineer, who's building a sentry gun in the window. That's going to help out a little bit, but... Um, oh, yeah, not enough. Really has the only over. He's ones popped up. it on the heavy. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna get out Seabass, too. Seabass is totally isolated. It's only a matter of time. Uh, the sentry gun is uh, chasing Pudding Cup, though, off the point. And Malt is going to get back, but, you know, the, the clock is ticking. Ten seconds uh, left on it. Yeah, and there's eight players up right now for our red team. All they have to do is stop the overtime cap here, and it's going to, of course, the cap time drops down so fast that unless there's somebody standing on it, they're pretty much not going to win this. Uh, they do have combat toast, and they had Hay standing in there as well, but it's not enough. And wow, 56 seconds, and now that's going to be a really, really bad position for the red team, who are going to swap into blue. Mission begins. Yeah, quite a strong defense there by by our team that is now the uh, attacking team. We'll. Uh I guess we should start calling them based off medic, so Heinlander's team. Um, and uh, Banny, you know, have a, had a devastating uh, Uber drop that he got out of Seabass with that trap above the door. Uh, and, uh, you know, Liquid playing well, Polk playing well, and, and Zero Skill playing well. So, I mean, that was pretty much the key. There, but we also saw really good defense of the the upper uh, roof of uh, B by Tiger. And that's uh, super crucial for Gravel Pit defense as well. You really got to control that roof. If you let the other team, the offensive team, get up there and, and get that height advantage, uh, you're really putting yourself in a tough spot. Mission begins in 10 seconds. Um, sentry gun from uh, Blink is going A, but uh, really only the sniper and the spy out there as well. Uh, they do have to slow down this capture on A a little bit. Sticky's up top, and uh, Banny using that Scottish resistance for a second there. Try to get rid of some stickies, and I love it. Shout out to uh, Banny for using that Scottish resistance. <laughs> Only for a second. Yeah. But we had Favorite a... Right uh, there. We, we had that sentry go down really fast. It got sapped, and nobody was even watching it. The only point the sentry went up there was just to delay enough so that the blue team can't immediately capture it. Heinz team, of course, uh, if they get this cap too fast, they win the round right away. But uh, shout-out to those 900 viewers joining us right now. The Uber was actually forced there, interestingly enough. So uh, maybe our red team, that is, of course, going to be Seabass's team there. Um, well, maybe uh, they've got red a Red combo's coming out here, the heavy. Oh, there's the Uber. This, is good. this could be a great Uber. 
He needs to kill actually everybody on the point. He, he tried to focus down Polk, uh, which is good. He got to kill Polk, but uh, yeah, everybody else getting cleared out. So really good hold there um, to, to stop the capture on A. And that's actually dealt a pretty serious blow to blue. Um, but, uh, you know, now we got to see, you know, whether uh, red team's going to scramble over to, to B to try to get back to B. But that was a really good save because uh, A was, or sorry, the blue team was just trying to stack A. If they had captured it faster than that 51 uh, seconds, they would have just won straight up there. Um, but now they're going to just have to capture two points. They are going to get uh, A is being left by uh, the red team and they've uh, totally shifted over to B and uh, they're, they're pretty well set up here. Yeah, it sounds like they've probably got a pretty good caller on the red team right now. That is, of course, Seabass's team. I don't know if Seabass would be calling. So usually you expect the medic too, but I mean, if you've got you know players like Banny or whatever on your team, uh, it could be anyone, uh, Romeo Love, whatever the case. So uh, good jump in by everybody from the blue team there, but they lost three players. Tiger went down, Liquid as well. And so it's looking like a decent defense. Seabass still has his 100%. And uh, where is the Uber for Hein right now? It's like he just uh, came back up and is going to start building that again. Yeah, we got Banny and the uh, Heavy uh, over on the AC connector uh, to B, but it looks like they are just actually going to back up and uh, reconnect with Hein somewhere. Well, Romeo Love is actually uh, looking for the spy right now, and that spy, Stabby Stabby, is red spawn. So they're going to have to be really careful about this. He is probably going to be right behind this Heavy. The question is, is anybody be Stabby? The answer is no. So he's disguised as an engineer, sneaking out behind the soldier. Going to go for that stab, and he's already gotten one pick. Cloaked up right away, and he is completely escaping right now. Nobody knows where he is. Yeah, Tiger up top. Abe Link is that Wrangler jump uh, to get on top of the roof with his sentry gun. But Tiger show up, showed up at just the right time. Heinlander, 96% of this Uber is going to get it. Might have to Uber, spy, uh, Uber sniper here. Uh, yeah, and he's trying to lead him out. So really good uh, play there by Mala, bringing the pressure and forcing that Uber. And uh, trying to do there is just bring some pressure um, and, uh, uh, you know, kind of try to get sea bass. You know, they did get the sentry gun, which was good. And then stay in there, stay alive, uh, get that Uber charge, and then use it. But unfortunately, Heinlander lost so many people and then got chased out and had to use that Uber on the sniper. So they're just going to have to build another one right now. Um, and uh, 5.30 on the clock. They just have to capture B, and that's a good amount of time. Also, Stabby Stabby getting a kill on Romeo Love. Blue is trying to push it out here. Bam leaving, leaving the charge. Seabass with 80%. Has to be a little bit careful. Banning throwing stickies in towards Seabass. Seabass, uh, 90 health, but 95% Uber charge. Yeah, he's Going got the charge ready to go, but he doesn't want to have to pop it before the blue team pops or loses a couple of players because that could be a really bad situation. Hein, only 80%, though. <laughs> wow, great. Right there. Oh, oh, man. Again, this aggressiveness from uh, Blue Team kind of backfiring. Um, Banny went down a little bit, and then I think, you know, probably pretty much Red Team. I mean, they had that Uber too, but it was just like, oh, we killed Banny. Let's charge in here. And uh, perfect timing on that that aggressive push to clear out Blue. Um, also, uh, Liquid getting sniped down, so nobody even really capable of opening things up except for Stabby Stabby. Let's see what he can get going on here in this downtime. Yeah, I gotta say that Gareth on on defense has looked like a much better sniper. Maybe he's just uh, picking up his stride on defense here, but he's gotten a couple kills on Liquid, where Liquid seemed to be dominating in that last round. Um, now we're gonna have Banny probably making a big sticky jump here. He's laid down two. Uh, he's got an overheal, and yeah, he's gonna jump right up onto the roof, going straight for the medic. Can he force the pop? No. Wow. Goes for it, but not quite. Well, uh, yeah, Seabass uh, didn't have it. Uh, he was at 68%. Um, you know, a lot of times in competitive 6v6 on Gravel Pit. Uh, during the off uber times, I mean like off uber is, you know, your your medic doesn't have an uber charge, you'll just suicide players in uh, because you know they're going to respawn. Like right now, Heinlander just got the uber charge and Banny just respawned. So his jumping in there didn't really lose anything and uh, he almost got that kill on Seabass. If he killed him with 70%, uh, you know, really would have opened up this offense. Right now they're coming down that long tunnel, but Banny getting Jurati, who takes his rocket down to 20 health, barely surviving. They pop the uber on him just to keep Banny alive. It is a smart play. Level 3 sentry gun on the roof. The soldier getting uh, rocked around. Banny uh, falls down to the lower level. One health for Banny. The scout is on him. Can Banny get the kill? He's staying alive finally. Um, um, two down. Actually, one down for red and four down for blue. So, looks like they're going to hold this again. Yeah, this is some impressive stuff, x -Tine. 
we do have our uh, sea bath team, red team right now. After not capping, they did get the kill on uh -huh. Hine with Mela from long range. That's a tough thing to do as a heavy, get those long range kills, but he got it anyway. So uh, yeah, I guess and, spin up and take the shots. And Heinlander went down again. Um, so I think now you know we might see some aggressive pushing, you know, from Banny, uh, maybe Tiger as well to try and get here and suicide in um, to get a pick or something. But right now. Um, hey, just got an ambassador headshot. Same time that Gareth got a headshot, so um, headshots all around for red team. Yeah, the the red team here, the defense is really solid. They're having to deal with a, a pesky little engineer who did finally go down, but he's wrangling a mini sentry and just using it to deal uh, uh, a lot of damage actually to the red team. They they of course were healing most of it back up, but they really had to focus on it. Nonetheless. Uh, our blue team here wasn't able to take advantage of that. And look at this. Hein is running the crits right now, but uh, they're going to have to contend with an Uber. So if they can't force the pop out of Seabass here, then this crits may not be very effective. Yeah, what you got to do with crits, especially on Gravel Pit, is you got to attack into an Uber charge, then back up, and then attack again. But their spy is back there, trying not to get uh, body spy checked, um, and then actually forced to decloak oh. behind them. <laughs> oh my god, Seabass dropping that Uber to the crits trick. Catching him off guard. Big play there. Banny going huge with that sticky. Let's see if they can follow us up. Open the uh, defense here and capture the point. Mala went down as well. Losing your heavy. Just about as bad as losing your medic. Uh, the kill's coming in for blue team here. Po uh, pudding and uh, pudding, pudding Cup actually got like one kill, two assists. That should lock this point down. Really hard to retake on Highlander when you got this many players on the point capturing it. So several yeah. players forward, including Banny, trying to lock down the choke here. Banny and Sticky's uh, getting blown up, though. And Mala well, coming yeah. out, but they don't have an overcharge. Uh, the point is going really quick, though. They just can't get it out. <laughs> can't get there in time. And uh, that was pretty exciting. Came down to uh, uh, pretty close time, you know, within a, a minute and a half. A uh, great offensive push uh, by the blue team that switch over to crits, doing the trick. Yeah, they're calling good round here. Um, I thought they were only doing one round on each map, but it could be that they're just going to do a best of three stopwatch. Um, hey, I'd be happy with that because uh, that first round was pretty awesome. Yeah, it was. And I'm going to be surprised to see if anybody can actually... Uh, or, well, not if anybody, but if Seabass's team. And yeah, they do actually. Okay. okay, they are switching maps now. That's too bad. I was going to say if they could actually cat B and make it an even longer game. But we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> while we're yeah. waiting in this downtime here, though, I have been told by Link A, I need to make fun of Tiger. I, I can't find <laughs> anything wrong with him yet, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, and uh, Sal and Michael, you guys might need to uh, just cancel that map switch and re reconnect. Uh, but yeah, uh, they're going back to Gravel Pit Fixed, actually. So oh. I think maybe they just cycled the server real quick um, just to make sure that everything was, uh, was cool. Uh, big props to them for waiting the two minutes to make sure that we got through it on the stream. Anybody out there who uh, uh, runs runs a server from time to time, uh, that is an important thing to know. If you guys got spectators, if you got people watching, you got to make sure you wait two minutes before you uh, change maps so that we don't miss anything. Unfortunately, something that happens time to time, spectating TF2. Yeah, it does. Exxon, I saw somebody in the stream chat asking, how can they join a team? Um, and the answer is UGCLeague.com. Their signups, mm -hmm. I think, are still open until the 31st, guys. So their forums probably have some teams looking for players. And if you've got a team that you want to get signed up, you got you know nine friends or whatever, and you got some backups that you want to put together a team for, they tend to play every Monday around this time. So if you've got time around Mondays on this time, get a team together, get it into the UGC League, because I think they have upwards of 300 clans signed up right now. Yeah, they have a ton of teams signed up in UGC League, and as you mentioned, you know, it's great that they, they just have one match time. I mean, you know, teams will make arrangements every now and again uh, to, to cast it on a, a different time, but, uh, you know, it's just Monday at, at 9, 9 o'clock Eastern, um, so really straight up easy to, to just be able to, you know, show up, play for an hour and a half, uh, and be done have a great time. There's uh, different divisions. You know, we're seeing, uh, the cream of the crop right now, the top players and UGC Highlander, but, uh, you know, there's, there's the 10 division, um, and, uh, Highlander, you know, is the easiest way to transition into playing TF2 in a competitive format. Um, six V six is, 
uh, considered in some circles to be, you know, the high end of competitive TF2. But UGC and uh, Highlander format has really been, you know, doing their best to to challenge that perception. Um, and, uh, you know, Highlander is a little bit easier to get into because the way that you have to play is a little bit more similar to, to the way that you actually play in a pub server. But of course, uh, you know, it's it's more formatted, it's more structured. You have a team, you're communicating together, you, you show up at a prescribed time, and, you know, the game starts not when people file into the server, but when you both teams hit F4 and click on ready and, and start it up. So um, it's a, a great way to play. You know, uh, I pub for a long time and I started getting bored with TF2 and it was just like, man, this is fun, but I, I get bored of this map and uh, then I get frustrated and then, you know, I'll change servers and then there's four snipers and I get frustrated. So then I'll, I'll change to another server, another map, and I'll have fun for a second and then and they'll change maps and I'll get bored or frustrated again. And I, can, I couldn't really play for more than, you know, an hour, an hour and a half at a time. Um, but competitive TF2, you know, I, I kind of still play for the same chunks of time, but I feel much more excited about, you know, I'm, I'm working on a skill set, you know, I'm, I'm improving, I'm trying to really work on my classes, I'm tr really trying to work on, on how I'm playing and, uh, you know, what, what I'm offering to, uh, to my team, to the world of TF2 and uh, challenging myself. So I, I've really enjoyed my transition to TF2. Um, UGC uh, League forums are uh, definitely a great place to try to find a, a team. But uh, people have also found teams via Reddit, Reddit TF2, and um, also NATF2.com, um, a great forum for the competitive scene. Uh, mainly, mainly sixes over there, but uh, a great place to hang out. Yeah, I've hung out there on occasion, but it seems like every time I make a new login, I never remember my password. So I've made no. like three now. <laughs> no, man. And I know I've seen three Sal's there too, and I'm like, I'm that's not really Sal, is it? Um, I don't know if he if he sounds stupid or like he doesn't know what he's talking about. A fair <laughs> bet. <laughs> um. Well, uh, we are. Uh, Trying to figure out what's going on here. Um, I'm actually not in the STV right now. I don't know if you guys are. Uh, we're still sending client info, so hopefully we get yeah. there nice and soon. Um, I wish I knew what was happening. Yeah, curious. I'm sure uh, we're probably not missing anything right now. Um, and while uh, while we figure this out, uh, real quick, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We're just going to run a commercial, but we have uh, more Gravel Pit for you, and then we got two more maps after that, so stay tight. And yeah, guys, people who are saying that they've played with Sal before, it's all true. I do play with people a lot, and it's fun, especially when we are on the XTV pub servers. Ah. Yeah. Okay, now it's going over to Lakeside for me. Well, we will find out. Yeah, I, I thought they were only doing one round on each. Maybe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and somebody's saying not so bad that you're giving x Tyne and Sal some money. I actually don't get paid, x Tyne. <laughs> you get paid in love, man. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, we are back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, the server is now uh, switching over to Lakeside. So indeed, uh, we are heading where we're supposed to be going. Um, I dropped a link. I, I want to shout out to you guys, um, xtelevision.com slash servers. We have um, several deathmatch servers, including... One in London, one in Dallas, one in Chicago. And then we also have an MGE server, which is a one-on-one -on -one server. Great way to practice your scout aim or your soldier jumps. Um, and, and uh, you know, if, if you're, you know, kind of new to, to playing competitive soldier and to jumping around with your rockets, get a friend in there. You know, if, if you're playing um, a stranger in MGE, uh, pretty good chances that they're really, really good. But, uh, you know, if you're low level, find a friend that's the same level as you, and it is a great, great way to practice. Um, and then, of course, we have three pub servers across the nation, one on the West Coast, one on the East Coast, one in Chicago, um, west.xtelevision.com, east.xtelevision.com, and um, uh, shy, chi.xtelevision.com. 
So um, uh, check those out. They are all on stock settings at the moment uh, because uh, we like having uh, the Valve random players in there. We're trying to offer a good place for those guys to come and play. But, you know, we're, we're also looking at, at tweaking those up in the future. So uh, we're, we're also uh, rotating our forums around on xtelevision.com. Um, so check us out over there and uh, give us a holla. Um, you know, we, we appreciate everybody's feedback. We, we certainly listen to it all. So uh, looks like we're, you know, getting ready to go. The players are talking about it. And uh, some of them are keeping their eyes on the stream. So they know that we're here. Oh, and there we go. Going live. Yes. So um, cough a whole different style from the stopwatch that we were just watching. Yeah, and I don't know how many Koth rounds they're actually going to play. It'd be nice to know that, but um, uh, are they starting here? I don't see that. Uh, yeah, they are. Uh, it did. Uh, it did. Uh, uh, live up. Cool. And uh, cool. we're good to go here. And uh, Heinlander is running the crit streak, which is a good choice on um, Koth maps. And Heinlander, uh, Seabass, the regular gun, and he's really low. Oh, then Embry to the side and takes him. So uh, Red Team, Heinlander's team, going to have a nice advantage here with that Kritzkrieg. And uh, already have a numbers advantage as well. They're going to get on the point, capture the point, uh, or not. But it uh, looks like, yeah, their engineer's there. You've got to capture the point in uh, King of the Hill when you have the opportunity to capture the point. They are going to get it now. No, that is very true. I have just had confirm or confirmation that it is going to be three caps. So basically three rounds of this. The, the Crits Creek is popped there. Tiger taking one kill on the Engineer, but that's really all he got. Nice kill by Liquid to stop Combat Toast from uh, from destroying the Medic there. And really, our red team, Heinz team, is doing an excellent job on this so far. They're holding down the point. They've got all their players alive. It's looking nasty. Yeah, ba uh, Banny did get two kills uh, with his Crit Sticky, um, and Seabass is building their charge up. I'm actually, Yeah, they're on the right-hand side, which is a uh, good decision. Got to teleport over there, and controlling this pool room is, is pretty crucial on this map. Yeah, it is. It's going to let them push a little bit faster. Um, let me see. Seabass is 100% right now, and so if Medic is your favorite class, we're going to see uh, what the Medic can do here real fast. Actually, it looks like he is running, uh, yeah, the regular Medic gun. Okay, so he is trying to hold on to this as long as possible, but actually, oh, oh no. That sucks. Did looks he like just he lag was... out before that? Yeah, oh, I think he did. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, what a terrible timing, but, um, I mean, <laughs> on, on the plus side, uh, his team just kind of stepped up without him, and, and nobody else went down, and they captured the point. So, um, somebody's saying message Overseer, who's the backup here, but uh, Seabass um, just lagged out again. So, he's kind of stuttering around, and he's with us right now, but Overseer, um, the medic for the Wonderbolts, and is uh, the backup place all-star here so um, unfortunately I don't think this is like a all-star game in baseball I don't think we're gonna get the halftime bring in the lefty bring in the righty bring in the lefty again um, you know barring any problems we should be sticking with this roster well actually um, because I want to make sure we're all clear on the rules I think they actually are gonna have a halftime and then uh, re-execute the config but there is the crit speed once again Mela and Romeo Love both down there from Banny taking most of that crit and that's always cute Stabby getting the stab on Seabass, so no more medic for our blue team, and this is looking really good now for red. They should be able to recap pretty soon. Times on the point are about even, though. Yeah, Don Newman actually had a close range um, uh, flare shot and uh, picked up a four kill, too. Yeah, he took out Heinlander. Going crazy. I do like the uh, the dispenser location going up here behind the point right now. If you can just have it sitting behind that little barricade, it yeah. uh, gives people a nice forward location to hold out, get some extra ammo and stuff. Here comes a nice push by Blue. They've got a bit of an uber disadvantage, but neither of these teams have their uber right now. And Hein is on the low ground here with the crits. Oh, gets taken down by use of toaster. <laughs> yeah, Blue team picking up a couple kills here. Um, I think they should be pressuring a little bit harder here trying to get the recapture. Got to take advantage of it when you can. And Heinlander down. Uh, if they can pick off Bank, be able to get on here, uh, no problem. But right now, yeah, it's just only the heavy. And as I was saying before, when you have the opportunity, you've got to cap. There we go. Now they get a uh, times three, a bit more substantial. And uh, only a minute left on red team's clock. Um, and uh, uh, Heinlander, uh, king of the hill, you know, you'll see you know, a little bit less switches and teams holding it for longer amounts of time. Yeah, I don't know. 50 seconds is uh, its not all that great as far as holding it for that long, so um, not too bad. I'm just watching the combat toast cam right now as he jumps around all over the place, probably wearing those gunboats. 
Yeah, he definitely is. That's going to give him a very easy time doing all this uh, crazy rocket jumping. So he's going to get a nice overheal here, and I think they're going to have him jump in, see if he can't find the medic. Meanwhile, the red spy, though, is going to be uh, stabby, looking for some kills on the point. So we'll see what happens. Combat Toast, I think, has spotted the heavy, um, but the medic is not there. No, and now is there with him, so Polk getting his heels back on. And uh, Blue about to surpass uh, the time for Red, but they're going to come in with a crit here in just a second. Getting ready to pop a crit. Oh, no, they were. And then Heinlander got uh, sniped and Banny backstabbed. So there we go. Red, uh, it's a retake here. is going to be put to a stop. Yeah, that's the first time I think this round that blue team has led in the time. Um, pudding cup from flare shot for our, for our red team. I'm sorry, blue is red in the time because I'm an idiot <laughs> uh, next time. I was in I was in pool uh, watching uh, Tiger and he was in the, in the water trying to jump up and get that health back and, and just couldn't get up. Combat Toast <laughs> just walked in and was like, "All right," shot him in the water and took him out. <laughs> oh, it's good stuff, man. Um, and it looks like Seabass's team is probably going to take this first round. It's 17 seconds left. Uh, and there you go. They've spotted the spy, but he actually gets the kill anyway. Probably uh, lacking on the comms just a little bit there. Um, our blue team is losing a couple players here. Tiger found the scout out and wants to get the kill. Did kill Yusuf Toaster, but you've got to be really careful. 55 health left. Um, and we do have... Oh! Yeah, the crits getting popped. Banny got backstabbed. And uh, the the crits, this crits isn't doing too effective, but uh, they got that capture. That was really huge. They knew they had to surge in there to stay alive, and uh, they just went for it. Thankfully for them, they got it. See what blue take here. Uh, if they just retake, they will get the win. And uh, Seabass, 90% uh, charge, so the rest of the team pushing forward. Oh, oh. just gets stabby stabbied in the back. And then Liquid cleans up there. Hein getting the crit streak up to about 70%, but he's got very low health right now. He's got to be careful. Um, and by the way, guys, if Pyro is your favorite class, uh, that's that's two reflect kills from Put a Cup so far, I think, onto Combat Toast. So uh, if that's favorite class, I'm right there with you, man. I love watching Pyros get those reflects. Oh, wow. Look at the big stabs by Hay, though. Um, I couldn't even tell what knife he was using. Probably just the default, but that's going to be uh, a little bit of a help. I think that Blue will be able to recapture now. Very, very close round so far. Five seconds left here for our red team. But remember, it's in overtime, so Blue will cap this and win the round unless this spy can just go utterly huge, and he can't. Oh. What a round there. Um, of course, when there's uh, capture time going on, you get into the overtime section, which is why Red was able to stay alive in the first place. But Blue surging back into it, taking that out. Double overtime on that map. Great stuff. Banny, the first one to middle. He is the fastest on any map. He walks over to the pool, picks up the big health pack, lays stickies. He's got that pool room on lockdown, although the pyro um, air blasts a couple of them off. Yeah, Tiger is dead. He was the first casualty in this round. And Banny going for some air pipes there on his uh, opponent's soldier. Combat Toast did finally die there to Polk, and his jumps are not being terribly effective right now. Um, Medic here, Hein, still above 100 health. And Pudding Cup grabbing that health kit in the pool room. So it looks like our red team should be able to get the cap. Has the uh, crits ready to go. Banny did a fantastic job just barely staying alive throughout that fight. Uh, soldier coming at him. Everybody coming at Banny. Uh, but that's what he's used to. And uh, he just did it up huge. Yep, Tiger is going to take the crits right now. He's spotted the demo man. Can't quite get the kill, but he's killed Don Newman, who didn't manage to reflect that. Uh, Tiger is at 13 health, though, and his medic, I think, is down. Uh, Hind using the Vita Saw. Meanwhile, here comes the Uber from Blue, and they are trying to capture this point themselves. It's only been about 15 seconds so far for Red, and already they look like they're going to lose the point. Uh, only four players left alive. They just had a couple respawn, but yeah, there you go. Our Blue team, that's going to be Seabass's team, grabbing the point, and they're going to try and get themselves out to a time lead. Yeah, pretty good recapture there by Blue. I would have liked them to see that, uh, use that Uber charge to, to block the capture of the point. But it doesn't really matter, you know, only allowing 20 seconds uh, uh, taken off of it, no biggie. Stabby Stabby's dead ringering, so it looks like Garrett caught him, but he's still up and alive. Meanwhile, Mela holding down the uh, the pool room really well right now, just huh. peeks his head around that corner and gets a kill almost every time. But yeah. now Polk's there as well. Nonetheless, bonus, uh, I'm sorry, Romeo Love gets the kill on zero skill, and it's looking like it's tough for our, our red team to push anywhere right now. Their medic is down on the low ground. Banny's yeah. hurt. Yeah, he, the medic uh, for red got chased up by a spy. Now he's got a scout and his face. Yusuf Toaster takes him out. The pyro trying to come over and protect. But Yusuf Toaster is just going to put that toaster to use. 
Oh, until he dies, feet away from the medic and the doctor box. Yeah, I always get, uh, I always get so sad. <laughs> uh, Leake uh, has been in the, the stream uh, chat and the STV chat talking smack of Tiger, and I'm sure he got a good <laughs> laugh out of Tiger just blowing himself up, trying to uh, shoot the blue engineer and shooting the ground at his feet instead. We do have combat toast for blue team holding down the pool room right now. Um, and I got to say, the reason he's getting uh, so many rockets reflected back at him from the pyro, he's using those gunboats. So, uh -oh. of course, the uh, he doesn't have a shotgun to deal with that pyro. Yeah, uh, in Highlander, well, I mean, any time against pyro, you definitely just nowadays got to whip out that, that shotgun. Um, but uh, Liberty Launcher are a good option as well since it kind of throws their timing off. Uh, Seabass went down to a skip, by the way, so Red Team trying to surge in here even though they're two players down. A good attack on um, the combo here with the scout, but also the scout was running next to the spy, kind of gave him a win. In the meantime, too, Stabby Stabby gets the, the pyro and the demo man. Uh, red team pretty much went huge all around there, and so now uh, they've got about a minute and a half just to make up to be even in time, but uh, two and a half minutes here to win the round. So it's you've got quite a few opportunities, I think, for blue team to try and push forward. They did just lose combat toast again, um, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a big deal as uh, Seabass has nowhere close to an Uber right now, so they're not ready to push yet. Oh yeah, um, yeah. There is a lot of time, but you can uh, hold it here. Oh um, wow! Um, oh, that was close. Seabass um, really got caught almost out of position there. There was a lot of good spam getting thrown down, trying to stop him from reconnecting with his heavy. He managed to get back, but just barely. Now grabbing a couple health kits, so he should be okay again. Um, but Liquid is going to see if he can't try and get the snipe on right now um, from behind his own heavy. And he does spot the soldier, can't quite get the kill, but Combat Toast down to 50 health, and now he's dead. Uh, get taken out by Banny, of course. <laughs> yeah, and actually kind of interesting positioning all the combos all over the place. Banny gets axe extinguished down while the blue Uber was in the pool room. Then the red team kind of stuck behind him towards the blue side of the spawn. Little Pyro versus Pyro fight, and Pudding Cup is stuck in a bad spot with 18 health. But uh, actually he's going to scare away the red or so, since he was using that... Uh, um, gunboat, it's nothing to do against a pyro. Blue has recaptured the point right when red was starting to get close to their time. And Mala uh, barely surviving, taking out zero skills, sentry gun, and then uh, did eat a sandwich there, so he's done pretty good. Yeah, he's actually doing a really great job of holding on the point right now, but he's getting scared off here by a couple of players in the red team. Manages to get away just barely to the medic, and he wants to grab this health kit because, I mean, he just did not have enough health there to really be too survivable. Gets the kill on Tiger, though, and now he's spotted out Polk as well. Looks like they're just going to push right back up here with a fully overhealed heavy from the blue team. Seabass uh, getting pressured a little bit, but he's getting defended pretty well as well, and he's going to walk right back up behind. This is going to be a good push from Seabass. He's almost got the uber ready to go. And they just need to start getting the capture time. Once again, it's you know it's evened up a little bit here, but blue team is in a good position, I think, to get the cap. They've got the Uber now, so even if they have to force that pop, it's it's still gonna be really good. And I, no, it's actually a crit. Oh, they go for the kill on the medic. They can't get it. They wow. can't even get the heavy. Mm. Much better uh, comms out of blue team. Uh, stabby Stabby was running around, but at every step, Seabass knew where he was, kept just staying out of his range, and then his other players swarming in to help protect him. Crits there. Uh, from the blue. Um, let's see what. Here's what red is running here. They're well, running a regular oop charge, and they're gonna pressure the way back in here. A lot down for blue. The heavy is over there, a little bit distracted. He's getting attacked by Polk. There's the Uber charge. They got a little bit of time on there. They got to keep the time on there as well. Do a good job of, of uh, ensuring that. Some snipes on the blue. Um, Demo man Romeo Love taken out, and red team has stormed the point, taking it over. Seabass has no charge going whatsoever. Uh, don't think uh, he can get a, even a crits Krieg up in 40 seconds, so they're going to have to uh, work out another uh, double overtime here uh, to get the uh, victory. Well, they did just get the kill on Hein with use of Toaster. That guy is everywhere that he needs to be. Uh, Zero Skill going to start setting up a little dispenser there and then use his Widowmaker, which is just a scary shotgun. You never have to reload the thing, mm -hmm. so people who can aim it right, I mean, you are just going to go on a rampage with that. Um, but our red team holds down the point right now. They've got most of their players alive, and Seabass did just die. Stabby Stabby going huge. So blue team needs to make a, a no medic push right now, which is a tough thing to do. They are doing it. They're trying to get this capture, and it is an overtime. So if they can capture it, they will win the round. If they can't, well, it looks like they can, though. Uh, but oh. Here, but no. 
Wow. Again, a uh, double overtime victory for the blue team. Um, you know, with that pick on Heinlander, uh, definitely a huge loss for red team. I mean, it's not about the charge. It's also just about, uh, you know, losing the heels, losing the and not having a healthy team. Uh, I'm watching the hay cam right now as this uh, as this mid fight begins. He does go grab that full uh, full metal pack, so he will be cloaked <laughs> for quite a long time. But yeah, and Bandy got super aggressive on Seabass, uh, jumped up um, across the way, landed on his head, but unfortunately just was not able to connect the damage, and um, uh, his, the rest of the team helping him out. Wow, Hay is going really huge right now. He's gotten uh, a headshot kill on the sniper. That's Liquid down, and then he killed Zero Skill as well. He's trying to chase down the rest of the, the uh, red team here, but he is... Oh, wow, what a rocket there by Tiger. He knew exactly where that spy was going. Um, Crit's pretty game, actually. Red, yeah. yeah, it does look like Banny's uh, setting down some crit stickies. He's got to be careful with this, uh, with this pyro there. Of course, crits don't deal crit damage to your own team, but... Um, the, the reflects, you gotta really watch those. And now Banny has lost his medic. Oh, look at that kill by Romeo taking down Banny as well. So he's, uh, he's gonna be happy about that, I think. Stabby ends up dying to the flames from Don Newman. Uh, yeah, Liquid's looking towards the point right now. Cool. He's gotten one kill already, I think, or maybe at least a headshot. Um, <laughs> great, great air shot by Combat Toast there as that scout was running around. We saw it from the demo's perspective there. Combat Toast, great shot. Uh, and uh, Liquid does once again get taken out by Hay, so uh, really, really good use of the spy there to just keep pressuring the sniper. Because if you don't, Lakeside is such a sniper-friendly map that he's going to get he's he's going to go on a rampage. So it's good that they're trying to pressure down the opposing sniper. Uh, meanwhile, though, Red is pushing forward and should be able to capture this point with about half of the time left. Oh wow! Look at this crits. They already take down the heavy. They're going for the medic. Can't quite get him though. Wow. That's going to be uh, Seabass getting out with about a hundred health. Tiger, meanwhile, is hurt. Hind did once again get taken down. Great job by Boo getting uh, the Uber in here uh, to, to back it up. Uh, somebody in the SDV ch chat saying Don got corner stab, which is exactly what happened. Stab, stab, you're really fantastic positioning. I mean, from uh, Don's... Sounds like he just cut out there, man, but it does look like our blue team is trying to stop the cap. They have held it off for a very long time and are still doing just that. This is, uh, this is an incredibly tense round, but it does look like Blue, with two points in the bag already, could be in a good position to win this round, too. Yeah, no doubt. They're positioning themselves quite well here. Mission ends in 60 seconds. I'm surprised this point hasn't been captured yet, but it's just been a really solid defense here by our blue team. The Pyro, even Don Newman, trying to get some good burn damage done. Spy coming in while there's some oh, chaos going on. He gets a good stab. Tiger. It's going to be Hay. And uh, Banny down as well, so Red doesn't have that much offensive power in here. Polk is... Uh, Trying to get in here, get the spy, but um, they have so much time that they got to get off this clock here. They got to establish a good defense here. Uh, they do have uh, oh, still on crits. I thought that was Uber for a second. Yeah, now the crits. I mean, could be okay. the The problem they've been having with it is that Hein has been getting bombed even while the crits is going on, and of course he's not invincible. He did go ahead and pop that crits actually, and it does look like they're going to get the kill on Mela. Will they get anybody else though? No, I don't think so. Polk is trying to run forward as fast as he can, but it's too late. The crits is over. They only got the one kill, and it was an important one. It was a heavy, but uh, it's not going to help too much. Polk does spot the teleporter here, and he's not going to wait to camp it. He's just going to try and take it out because meanwhile. He's the demo man there down the hall, Romeo, was trying to get some kills, ends up going down himself. Um, and so now, really, Hay is going for some uh, kills of his own, but he gets very quickly spotted out by the Pyro Pudding Cup, so it looks like for now the Pyros are winning that battle. Really good forward hold here from the red team. Um, we'll have to see where this Uber charge from Seabass goes. If uh, red can kind of f with that crit streak and uh, make them pop that Uber early, then they can just crit back into him. But uh, Uber Charge is on the left-hand side um, of Blue's perspective. They're walking it forward. Ah, the crits popped early. I don't, really no reason to pop it this early. All that, that Uber is still up. No, and that's not going to really help them defend the point at all right now. Uh, they're getting the time a little bit closer here, and Gareth doing some good sniping as well. Takes down the, the mini sentry. He's looking for the medic. Does get one little pot shot off, but Hein is going to be up above 100 health very soon. And now Gareth getting pressured by the scout. Embryo takes that kill. So uh, yeah. once again, you got to pressure those snipers whenever you can. Hein, meanwhile, getting pressured by a scout of his own. And oh. wow, Toaster kills him once again. Yeah, that crits... Uh, um Chris versus Uber didn't really work out, but then uh, they followed it up with a bunch of huge kills. Embryo with at least a triple kill in there. Liquid's been uh, continuing to do work as well. 
Yeah, I'm on the stabby stabby cam right now. He's playing around with his dead ringer, just kind of waiting for the blue team to get into a position. Um, he's disguised as a spy, which is a little bit weird. He's actually going to get spotted here, I think. No, he's just going to walk right up behind Mela, who saw a spy, but assumed it was his uh, his friendly neighborhood spy instead of stabby stabby. Stabby's now taken down, though, by Gareth. Um, and Liquid, meanwhile, takes Gareth down in return, so the assassins are just going to work on each other. Combat Toast has to run back to the medic. Um, can blue team even recapture at this point? We could see uh, round go Red's way. Yeah, this is a extremely close round. Um, you know, we've seen all of them down to the wire so far. Blue is trying to search back in there. Seabass doesn't have an Uber. Is pretty far away from it, and Heinlander still on. Going to get it before then. So, uh, blue team's going to have to keep Seabass sea safe throughout all this. Banny extremely lit. Um, not sure where he is. He's not. By He's actually alone on the left hand side. Pudding Cup uh, trying to sneak around behind here as a pyro and do some crazy work. Does lay down a lot of damage, but can't quite get the kills. Banny and Liquid, the only two players yeah. left alive for Red Team, so they do lose the point. It's in overtime, so if Red can recapture, they will win. Liquid gets a nice shot on Combat Toast, finishes him off, but now he's getting pressured by the Spy once again, and Hay is just all over his stuff. That's a big kill on Liquid. Seabass has really got to protect his... And I was getting worried that he was going to get sniped on Liquid, and then we saw that kill. And uh, yeah, basically, they're going to have to get an early pop from uh, um, Seabass because he's just going to be able to block the point with that Uber charge. Banny's down low. Got Jurati, though, which is going to slow him down. The heavy is Jurati uh, as well. Oh, and then uh, Abe Lincoln takes Polk down with big shotgun. Uber has popped, and uh, Blue Team is going to take the and the 3-0 sweep on Lakeside. Well, bear in mind, they're gonna they're actually going to uh, have a little bit of a halftime because of the config, and they're actually playing to four. So we could see our red team come back here, but if they don't, I think it was Heinz's team who won uh, Gravel Pit, and that makes Seabass's team winning this one, so we will go on to a decider map. That's pretty exciting! Yeah. Um, upwards is uh, a fantastic one. Super uh, stoked that we're going to get there. Yeah, okay, there we go. Highlander saying 2-4. Uh, they just uh, did the reset here. Uh, we'll see if they, they change maps or not. Uh, or sorry, not change maps, uh, change sides. I would prefer if they didn't because it's just going to confuse the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, Stream Chat, you guys have been awesome all night so far. Glad to have you with us. Glad to have you watching XTV. And of course, uh, we've said it before, but I think we should say it again. Do hit the follow button. Join our Steam group. Uh, check out xtelevision.com for all of your latest North American TF2 news. You, yeah. Of course, our uh, YouTube course, channel uh, is uh, course, slash comft, a username on that, and then our talented staff members. Uh, all have their own YouTube channels as well. Salamancers is Fat Mop. Also has his own Twitch.tv channel. Make sure you hit those up as well. We're probably going to get one of those nifty Twitch.tv team pages pretty soon here. Um, and then uh, shout out to Griever TV as well. And of course, Lucky Luke, uh, who is our baller editor, uh, does our editing on our news show. And also working on that December top 10 which uh, should be coming this week sometime. Uh, we got the clips out there, uh, ranking them up, and uh, getting it ready to rock. So uh, really excited to put commentary down on that. And then uh, if you have played in the league which, uh, cup matches be or tournaments, you know, something uh, official the in the month of January, uh, make sure that you send your demos into us so that we can uh, put them into the top 10 and make it as best as possible. Yeah, we really want those to be the top 10, not just the top 10 from, you know, ESEA or the top 10 from whatever we got sent. We want them to be the actual top 10 plays in all of TF2. So you make a good play, especially in a competitive setting, do send those in. Make sure you are recording those first-person demos. Definitely. Uh, we get a lot of uh, global love on those, which is uh, really fun. Clips from all over the world. Um, we'd love to uh, shout out all the different scenes. Another person who just joined our staff but is doing excellent excellent work, Griever TV uh, from uh, New Zealand, uh, covering the Australia scene. Uh, we're also hoping to give a little bit more love to Asia Fortress and uh, South Africa. We just had a moment of glory uh, from South Africa. Big up to the scene over there and, of course, Europe as well, ETF2L. Uh, getting ready to start. Yeah, actually, there we go. Hildreth just asked today. me, where's the love for ETF2L? <laughs> and um, yeah, 
there's the love for ETF 2 l yeah, they've had a couple matches. I think already. I saw some uh, some match results coming up, like like Infuse versus Crack Clan. Don't know what the result actually was, but I know they played a game. So um, yeah, sounds like a good one. Yeah, they are starting it off right. Yeah, some people asking too about um, you know Highlander plays in top ten. Yes, definitely without a, a doubt. Um, you know any sort of league uh, tournament cup play. If it's a small event, if it's a large event, we just like to, you know, highlight the the top plays uh, from, you know, real organized things. You know, not not a pub, not a pug, not uh, a scrim. Uh, you know, we want two teams that are are there, um, organized uh, format. So, yow, we are going live once again with our second half here. Teams still on the same side, but our blue team, Seabass's team, a three zero. No, right now. Yeah, we have Hein on the Crit Creek right now and Seabass, I think, on the regular Medigun. Um, so that's going to play out quite interestingly as Hein's going to have his Uber first, but they need to push that forward pretty fast. Uh, Polk is on the Tommy Slav. I don't know if he's been on that the whole game, but he that's has an interesting choice. Three, yeah, that's, uh, that's a recent switch. Well, it looks like they are getting ready to pop this crits pretty soon here, and they're probably going to try and get it on Banny, but uh, they're not quite ready to go with that yet. They really aren't in a position to push, and the longer they wait, the closer Seabass gets to his Uber. Can Banny get the crit stickies that he needs? No, not yet, and there, Hein is taken out. Uh, so that's going to be pretty good for our blue team, but they still... Yeah, there they go. They've popped the Uber now. They should be able to get this cap and uh, conquer the point there. Polk on 7 health actually getting away somehow. Nice. Uh, Heinlander uh, on the Chris Krieg still, but uh, Seabass is building that Uber pretty quickly, so Heinlander is going to have to get in there um, very much as soon as they get that thing. Yeah, they're they're doing a good job of building it though. I think Hein will have the Uber ready to or the crits, I mean, ready to go way before Seabass is ready on his Uber. So once again, uh, Seabass is going to have to do some good dodging here from Banny and the crit stickies from Hell. <laughs> I'm serious. Don't play against Banny. Just don't do it. <laughs> Uh, um, actually, Hein was not healing anybody for a while there, so Seabass is going to have his Uber ready to go right now. Uh, now, we have seen uh, Seabass has dropped an Uber to a crits before because he didn't see the crit sticky coming in at him, so he's got to watch really carefully here, but it looks like somebody did call it out. He popped the Uber now. They're going to stand there and defend this point quite effectively. Yeah, couldn't save Combat Toast. Actually, Romeo Love hits the top of the map. He's trying to come after Banny with the uh, Ula Pool <laughs> and turns around and gets a scatter gun from Embryo. Pretty funny stuff there. Red team going to be able to retake here. Yeah, and right now Blue, of course, has three rounds under their belt. Red team needs to get four to win it. Uh, blue team only needs to get one more. So Banny right now laying down some sticky bombs, and I want to find me a spy because that's what's going to be really important. That of the sniper is Liquid, though, has been spotted, getting pressured. He's still going for headshots and actually uh, could get a few here, but nope, Hay is actually going to headshot him with that ambassador. Just going crazy with that thing. Yeah. And uh, Polk trying to uh, watch that uh, pool side with Tomislav. Seems to be working kind of well for him, but now that Liquid is down, of course, Gareth can go on a rampage, and he does. He's taking down Pudding Cup. He's going to go for uh, dealing some extra damage to Polk there. Stabby is actually, I think, getting some medic heals right now, or maybe a dispenser. Can't see him on my camera, but um, there you go. Blue recaptures once again, and they already have a time lead, so they are just putting more and more time on that clock. Tiger trying to take down this scout, but he can't do it. Who is that scout there? Use of Toaster finally uh, going down to that shotgun, but Tiger is really hurt right now. And he's actually, I don't think he's using the equalizer. I think he's been using the whip, so that's why he's not able to run very fast. Um, meanwhile, Gareth still uh, doing the crazed gunman thing, taking down Embryo. Yeah, Highlander on the uh, pan side with Banny, with Polk. And Gareth Almost. here sees Hein. He sees him behind that thing. Mm -hmm. He's going to go for the shot. Can't oh, get it. Romeo Love double kill on Banny and Polk right when Hein... Has that crit streak ready to go? It got separated from. Uh, oh, and then he got taken out by Romeo Love. Oh. Unfortunate turn of events for Red Team here. Yeah, so I, our Red Team here. I mean, if by losing this Uber, they've almost lost the round. They can maybe get one more Uber up, especially because Hein is using 
the the uh, Vitus on. Sorry. So they, you know, they, it keeps about 20% of that charge as long as you have it built up, and they, that's going to be good for them. Um, but here comes an Uber bombing in Soldier right now. Can he get the kill here? No, not yet. Hein barely getting back away from it. No, oh. he didn't. Oh. Beautiful Uber. Yeah, Tiger barely got away from the blue heavy, but then uh, walked into combat, toast, hit him with a rocket, and killed himself. Um, so yes, yeah, he forced to use that Uber charge, but uh, you know, with Hein going down. And blue so far forward, they're still sitting pretty for this point here. Yeah, that was actually really, really well done, I thought, by blue. I don't know if they were forced or not, but I do yeah. know that they made really, really good use of that Uber. Uh, Banny jumped around the corner uh, while Hein was in that tunnel. and um, Or sorry, Seabass was in that tunnel. Saw Banny in his face, popped the Uber. Um, Red is surging in here, but uh, too late to get on the point. And a quick 4-0 from um, the blue team led by their three uh, gangsta gang gaming players um, doing it up big and uh, that's going to be it for Koth Lakeside but we have been uh, forced to go to our third map here PL Upwards pretty excited about that and uh, again shout out to Heinlander for managing the server saying gonna wait for them to finish yup he's talking about us awesome um, <laughs> so uh, we're going to run a quick commercial break here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're excited to have such a loud, large crowd here for this event. And large we got and one loud. more fantastic deciding mat coming up next. So don't go anywhere. Yeah. Commercial break, commercial break. <laughs> we should just, you know, set a little timer and then just like sing for 30 seconds and then and just come back, you know? Maybe do the hustle. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I can do the hustle. <laughs> Yow! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. We got one more map coming your way. PL upwards. We've seen a little bit of everything uh, tonight. A little uh, gravel pit, a little stopwatch, and uh, a, a little, little bit of uh, a little cough. You know. Now it's time for some cart pushing. I do hope so. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm stuck on sending client info again, but uh, I'm sure it will get there eventually. Yep, yep. And uh, they're gonna they're gonna watch out for us and make sure that they don't miss us. Um, I want to uh, reiterate uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, we cast UGC Highlander every week. The season is starting off next week. The default map time is 9.30 Eastern. So, you know what? You can, you can always find us casting Highlander Mondays, 9.30 Eastern. You know, sometimes we, we might start off a little bit late, but we are always going to be there for UGC Highlander. Big ups to Michael, uh, who's uh, running the camera tonight and is uh, our main go-to guy for UGC Highlander, as well as helping us out in many other fantastic ways. Uh, we also cover plenty of sixes action. Not a whole lot of sixes action going on uh, this week uh, because the ESCA season is is in a playoff break. They just wrapped up the regular season, and next week they are going to resume with playoffs for ESCA Intermediate and ESCA Open. So we're, we're pretty excited about that. Those are uh, the middle division and the lower division of ESCA, while the top division um, is uh, going to have a LAN finale in uh, six weeks from now, yeah. uh, March 2nd through 4th. And x uh we've got a couple questions from the stream chat. All right, let's do it. But but before the question, some people saying I should turn my ad block off for this site. And yes, yes, you should. XTV benefits from the ads that we run here. Um, pretty much we're, we're all using that all to go back into more TF2 coverage, aren't we, man? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we have our YouTube uh, revenue and we have our Justin TV, Twitch TV revenue. And uh, our YouTube revenue goes to uh, uh, you know, special projects, equipment, uh, travel costs. And um, I'm looking to travel at, uh, to some more lands this year. And also hopefully meet up with uh, the XTV staff and XTV fans at those lands. Um, and then um, our Twitch TV um, revenue, we're looking to just focus that right back into the community. Uh, we had a draft cup uh, a couple months ago. Had great prizes for that. Sent those out to the winning players. And uh, you know, looking uh, looking to do more stuff like that. So we really appreciate your support. You know, X Television is is here for the long haul. 
and we're just trying to uh, build a sustainable structure so that we can keep providing you guys with coverage of the competitive scene, have more time on our hands uh, to produce uh, the great content that you guys uh, enjoy watching. So uh, we're definitely excited about that. Appreciate your support. Uh, we're looking, uh, or sorry, we're, we're not looking, we're actively getting into it, uh, making our own merchandise, XTV merchandise, going to be coming to you soon, should be purchasable, not through the Manco store, not yet anyways, but uh, within a couple weeks, we should have some information for you guys on that, so we're, we're super excited about that. Yeah, and maybe on to some questions from the stream while you kind of wait for this server to get up. Um Question number one that I saw a little while ago was XT Xine. Uh, we're putting together a staff team for Sibo, right? Who's on that? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Um, the Sibo Vanilla League uh, that is uh, registration is still open, um, and uh, I actually need to head over there and register. And uh, I don't think we've really totally decided on a roster. I know that I want to play Soldier, uh, Pocket Soldier, and uh, Jesus uh, is uh, getting down there to be a um a roamer soldier probably and then uh sally you play a pretty good demo man you play a, a fantastic medic uh, we have some other players on our team that play a great medic and uh kind of a demo man is kind of a, a tough one for us so well you know uh, we i need you to I step try. up <laughs> I, I can't say i'm any good at it but i can certainly try yeah yeah and uh deuter has been playing uh beast scout he's kind of switched off of uh soldier uh and uh he he kicks ass on that yeah, man, we've got some good players, so I do expect to see us do pretty darn well in Sebo Vanilla. Uh, bring it on, fellas. Bring it on. But um, yeah, tonight, I mean, everything is all about the UGC coverage right now. And once again, um, Hildreth even was telling me that, and I think Infinite too, that they need more new teams. So this is your chance to get into competitive TF2. Do it. Yeah. Um, I am in the server. Um, I don't think we're we're not live in there yet. Um, finally, the SDV has has caught up, and uh, we are we are back in here, good to go. So I'm sure the players, uh, keeping their eye on us, are, are going to see that they're good to go, and we will be going with this um, next map, this final map, in uh, just a few minutes here. I'm excited, man. It it all comes down to this. Yeah, we're uh, we're running a little short on things to talk about. Um, we are going to have a setup time going on, so um, hang tight, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to take another quick break here. But the final decider match in this fantastic all-star event put on by the UGC League is coming up, so stay tight. Let me see if we got any other questions there. Uh, are we love right now. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Greener? What's up? What is up? Oh, stranded with a flat tablet, no way to contact, and coming home just trying to get home for this. Well, you uh, you in the game, Greener? We're we're just joined by a, a late guest. He's making a, a quick guest appearance here. What's up, Greener? What is up? Yeah, just trying to connect to the game now. Somebody send me some dates, but uh, fully came for this. All right. So man. I heard, I heard flat tablet. Is that what you had? Yeah, flat tablet. I had no like because I don't. I use my tablet as a phone because I'm like one of those weird Kiwis. But uh, yeah, <laughs> went flat and I got stranded like my car. I couldn't get home and I had no way to email and I was oh, I've been freaking out. So when was, you said I, flat I, tablet, I thought I heard flat tire and I was like, wait a minute, no, is that no. like the Apple version of a of a flat tire? <laughs> <laughs> no, much worse than this flat tablet. It's a, it's a, it's a very, yeah, it's, it's nasty. But yeah, I was worried that poor Sal was all by himself. I mean, obviously X times here, but I mean, hey. Yeah, we've too. been holding it down, and it's been a uh, fantastic thus far. Um, we had uh, Gravel Pit the first map, and uh, basically we've been calling the teams off of their medic. And uh, Heinlander's team that has Banny uh, did a great job on on Gravel Pit, held the defense on B, and then uh, they were pretty had a tough time taking it on offense with just a minute left they got it but then uh when we went to um lakeside they um they just got stomped by uh, uh seabass's team 
So, uh, Michael, our cameraman, is just telling us real quick that we are going to cycle the stream to try and improve this the FPS. We're hearing that there's a little bit of uh, lag going on. So uh, just hang tight real uh, quick, ladies and gentlemen. The stream is going to drop out, but then we'll be right back. <laughs> 